continuing on our day here at the research symposium i am here with another wonderful group of ladies from the school of engineering hello girls how are you good good all right tell us a little bit about your project jetta so our project is the robotic surgery training dome we're a team of four and we worked with professor freudzen for our mentor she was great so our project seeks to quantify the forces during robotic surgery training and we are different from other uh, products on the market because we give quantitative feedback and measure surgeons' progress in real time. Um, and our project was sponsored by the Cardamon Scholars Fund at Fairfield and the Connecticut Next uh, Foundation and the New Business Competition. Really impressive. Congratulations. Thank you. So continuing down the line here, can we talk about what inspired you to uh, jump into this research? So the reason why we created our design is basically to improve invasive surgeries. So like uh, improving suturing and stuff like that for surgeons, like for trainees. So it's a better technique for trainees to train on. So that was our goal. Makes sense. Really impressive. Moving right down the line. So talking and bringing it here today to the research symposium, excuse me. Tell me a little bit about what your experience has been like here so far today and how it feels to present this hard work that you put a lot of effort into. Right, so it's amazing to be able to present our project that we've been working on all year, two semesters. Um, everyone's put a lot of hard work into it. And it definitely feels good to share it with not only the school, but in a bigger scope, the uh, medical community as well. Um, to give the results that we need to improve the uh, medical community um, and reduce, like, uh, reduce any sure. um, complications due to suturing. That makes sense. And let's wrap it all together. What is next for the project? Where do you hope it goes after the symposium? So after the symposium, we are looking forward to expanding the application of the dome. So we are looking into endoscopy, um, more with suture training, um, moving outside of just robotic surgery. We want to make this dome as applicable as possible to any field um, in medicine. And then on the actual dome, we're looking at um, an LED display to show the data, the quantitative data, the force measurements, um, and then also just adding more lights really to make it more aesthetically pleasing and um, to make it applicable for anyone. Wow. Well, you guys are so impressive. Congratulations on all your hard work. It's really, really amazing here today. So thanks so much for chatting with us. Thank you so much.